Ladies and gents, what if I told you there's a glitch that gives you the ultimate, unbreakable, all elements master sword in Tears of the Kingdom. So not only can you use this weapon indefinitely, but it also casts all the elements at the same time, which gives you insane amounts of damage and also amazing CC. First things first, huge shout out to Zombie Zone for discovering this method. Go ahead and check out his video too on the subject while you're at it. But for this method to work, you will need a few things first. One of them is the Unbreakable Master Sword or the Message Not Found Master Sword, which you can find a lot of guides online, how to get it. It's pretty simple and it doesn't take more than a few minutes. Second, you're going to need an inventory filled with shields. I don't think the inventory size matters, just get it filled with shields since this makes the method a lot easier. Third, you will also need unfused weapons. It doesn't matter the type, as long as they are melee weapons, just make sure they are unfused and you have at least three or four of them. And fourth, you will need three types of Gliok horns, including the Flame, Frost and Shock, since we'll transmute these powers to the final Master Sword. As far as the location goes, we're gonna do this in the Inn Isa Shrine on the starting Sky Islands and also the same place where you can do the Unbreakable Master Sword glitch. Now once inside of the shrine, we're gonna go ahead, break these rocks and you're gonna wanna make it right here in front of this wall to the right. Theoretically, any wall can work, but this is the easiest as you will want to use these lines on the ground and then try to be almost midway over that line, like how I do it right here. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I need to do, but for now I will just explain it step by step. So with my Master Sword equipped, the one called Message Not Found, I'm going to go ahead and drop all the shields from my inventory on the ground. Then I'm gonna go back to the Master Sword and drop that too. Then I will equip a random unfused weapon. And now I will do a quick plus plus, just like with the other methods, so now we're back to the screen. If you did this right, you should not see a Master Sword suddenly appear in your inventory. But then I will drop this unfused weapon too, equip another unfused weapon, quick plus plus again, and now if you did everything right, the master sword and the other dropped weapon will suddenly appear in your inventory. And once you exit, you will notice that despite carrying the unfused weapon in your hand, the game glitched out and it also overlapped the master sword effect on top, so now it's shiny. To better show you what I mean, I did the exact same trick except that the last weapon was the scimitar, so now if you look at it, you will see the outline but also the shine effect from the master sword overlapping it. So this is indicating that we did the trick right and we're ready for the next phase, which is to drop a Gliok horn onto the ground right in front of us. I will start with the flame one, but we'll do all of them eventually. From here, we can fuse that horn with our equipped weapon because in reality, it is still the unfused weapon and not the actual master sword. So go ahead and do that. Once done, you will notice that your weapon looks kind of like the master sword and now can even spit out the flames. From this point on, you're going to go ahead into your inventory, hover over this weapon and then drop it on the ground. And now it drops not just the scimitar in my case, but also a Master Sword. So go ahead and only grab the Master Sword from the ground. Do not retrieve the other one, only the Master, otherwise you're gonna screw things up. What you will notice now every time you attack with the Master Sword in your hand is that the Cleok Horn on the ground actually triggers the flame. It's actually pretty funny to do it, but that is exactly what we need. The only thing remaining now is to bring up the quick menu tab, switch to a different weapon and then back to this master sword and voila, it now emits the flames just like how we wanted. And you're gonna again want to completely ignore whatever weapon you just put on the ground, you will no longer want to equip or grab those anymore because that's going to ruin the whole process. And from here we're just gonna go ahead and repeat the exact same process to create two more master swords with the other two elemental effects. So go back into position, grab back all the shields that you dropped, and again you're gonna want to make sure you're exactly in this spot midway through the line. You're going to want to switch back to the master sword again since it's been duplicated in your inventory and not the one with the elemental effect. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is drop all the shields once more just like before. And once I'm done with it, back into the weapons category and drop the message not found. 
from this point on just switch to a different one unfused quick plus plus and once you're back if everything goes right you can go ahead and drop that too then we're gonna pick the final one which is this quick plus plus again and once we're done we should see all these dropping on the floor except that now we can look at the weapon itself which also has that shiny glow to it which indicates that it's been well kind of combined with the master sword we dropped before from here i will use the thunder horn and again fuse it onto my current weapon quick test shows that it absolutely works once again we'll drop it on the ground which makes both the swords spawn at the same time so only thing remaining is to do a quick switch back and forth to the master sword and now we have it with the electricity effect on as well and if you look at these elemental effects master swords you will notice that the game list they are actually fused with the gliok horns indicating that we are on the right track again completely ignore the weapons you just dropped and go back to the wall and grab your shields up we're gonna repeat the same process one final time this time around for the ice elemental now, in case the Master Sword immediately appears in your inventory on the first drop, it means that either you didn't stay at the proper length from the wall, or you pressed plus plus way too slow. In either of these situations, simply repeat the steps again until you get them right. The Master Sword needs to respawn in your inventory only after you drop the unfused sword, so that's gonna be on the second time, not before. But now that all the weapons are done, we have three elemental master swords with three different elemental effects. So what we have left to do is to just combine them into one final one that has all the elemental effects. Which you do by using the exact same steps as we just used, except that we will no longer use the unfused weapons, but exclusively the elemental master swords that we just created. So starting with the Thunder Sword, I'll be dropping the shields again, and then I'll drop this Thunder Sword on the ground too. Then immediately equip a different Elemental Master Sword, in this case I'm gonna go with the Frost. Quick plus plus, and then we're gonna drop this Master Sword too, and equip the third and final one. Plus plus again, and now you'll notice that the Master Swords came again back into your inventory. But if you go ahead and use this flame master sword for example it has both elementals so in this case both fire as well as the shock the same goes for the frost one you will want to repeat the process and once you're done it should look something like this to be capable of doing both shock as well as the frost damage seeing how the shock was the common element i'm gonna go ahead and drop all the shields then I will go back to the weapon and drop the one with the shock elemental on top and immediately equip the one with the frost horn and do a quick plus plus. Once back we're gonna drop the frost and immediately equip the final one with the flame, another plus plus and once we're back it should look something like this. We have all the elemental effects at the same time on the same weapon. So this is basically going to be a lot more complicated than you think, but it's super worth it because now this is an unbreakable weapon that is able to use all elements at the same time. It's so powerful in fact that with the exception of maybe Lionel's, it literally one shots everything of silver quality because you can freeze, shock and set them on fire at the same time which gives you a huge burst of damage which essentially just destroys them very quickly now i will say there are a lot of other benefits to this weapon too one of them is the fact that you can create elementals on demand for example if you're on water you can simply create some ice cubes and you can use those as platforms if you want to or if you're in the middle of a field and want a quick updraft, you can totally do that by just setting the grass on fire and so on. The downside is that you can lose those effects. For example, if you drop the weapon on the ground or if you just use a campfire, it's going to make it lose those elemental effects on it and you will need to repeat the process again. However, dying does not do any of that, so you can simply create a permanent save file and just revert back to that anytime you die or if you drop it on the ground or if anything happens that makes it lose those effects, you can always go back to that moment and continue with it and have all the elementals intact. 
Otherwise, it completely melts enemies. I also tested this against some of the Lynels, and even though it might not be as strong as some of the other exploit 1000 damage options we did, it's still very strong nonetheless, and maybe a lot more fun than all the rest, since you can also use shields with it. In any case, I will keep you guys updated if this method suffers any modifications or if we can do it easier in the future. In the meantime, I would love to know your feedback. So drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.